Welcome to Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial number 7. Today we'll be observing web requests. We'll view the client server traffic sent from a PC to a web server when requesting web services. So first we'll verify connectivity to the web server. So what I'll do is click on external client, click on desktop, go to command prompt, and what we'll do is ping the server. So I'll type in ping Cisco Learn dot web dot com and we'll wait for a reply okay so now that we can see that the external client can connect to the server I'm going to click out of that go to web browser and in URL I'm going to type in cisco learn dot web dot com so there you can see everything that's on that web page so now what I'll do is go to config or click that go to server go to config click on HTTP and here you can see all the HTML code for that page that we just looked at so now I'll close out of that and we'll observe the traffic between the client and the web server so I'll click on the simulation tab and the visible events we want are HTTP and TCP so now that we have that, I'm going to X out of that, click on the open envelope for the complex PDU, click on external client, and under select application, I'm going to choose the HTTP option. For destination server, I'll click on server PT, and source port, I'll put in 1000, and under simulation settings, I'm going to click on periodic and put in an interval of 120 seconds, and then click PDU. Now here you can observe the traffic of the packet going from the external client to the server by pushing autoplay. And you can see it moving along now to the web switch from the internet and up to the server. Then once it hits the server it goes back to the web switch, across the internet, to the remote switch, and back to the external client. <laughs> 